So I wanted to title this video using the greatest threading tool ever made. But, uh, but this might turn out to be how to stuff the greatest threading tool ever made. So this tool is the greatest threading tool ever made and I purchased it several months ago. I just haven't had a chance to use it. I thought I was going to use it today, but I don't think I can. Mainly because I bought the German silver or nickel silver rod to make the alignment pins, but the material is just so soft. It's I've never worked with it before. And then I decided maybe I'll just use brass and then the brass was even too soft and it just jammed in. So what this tool is, it has three tungsten rollers and it actually forms the thread on the metal and it doesn't cut. So I think the next time I try it is when I'm going to make the watch screws. It definitely needs to be on a harder steel, maybe stainless steel or carbon steel, but I think brass and the German silver are way too soft. I first found out about this tool um, on Instagram. I saw John McGonagall who is a independent watchmaker and him and his brother make some amazing watches. Uh, he, he actually showed a photo of this tool on, on his Instagram and I just commented and asked him about it and he explained it and I asked him, you know, where I could get it. And he also gave me that information. So thank you so much, John. And I look forward to using that tool, just, just not at this point. So on my train bridges, I have the holes for the alignment pins going all the way through the whole bridge and it's threaded too. Um, this was for a couple of reasons. One is that it made it easy for me to attach and detach the main plate when I was centering all the holes. And the second reason is, I actually have seen this design before somewhere else and I'm not sure where I've seen it otherwise I'd reference it my apologies but you could see the alignment pins going through the plate and they're polished domes just sticking through um, the top of the bridge and that's what I'm going to do now I've got um, the lathe set up with my M1 die in the tailstock and I've got some German silver um, in the headstock what I'm going to do is it's going to be a bit too much trying to set up, you know, the tooling and cut it down. So I've got these.
So to polish the end of the guide pins, I use a 20 micron 3M micro finishing film. And then I go with a one micron film just on some balsa wood sticks. And I do apply a little bit of pressure because you do want the end of the screw to go into the balsa wood and then you can get a nice round finish. So I have another guide pin which is sitting under this area here which I've riveted and I've it, it's finished flat like you can't even see it on the movement. So, you know, let me know what you think. Um, do you like the look of having the exposed guide pins with a polished um, dome? I kind of like the contrast between the silver and, you know, I want to finish the watch with the gold plating. So I think it can go hand in hand, especially if I get an even shinier polish on that German silver. Let me know what your thoughts are on the exposed guide pins. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. Here's the off cut piece, which I'm going to turn the uh, balance bridge from. Um, that is going to be quite the challenge. And I think next week is definitely going to be balance bridge week. Um, I'm excited and very nervous. Mm -hmm. 